All right, folks, welcome to this exciting video. I've once again come to the one of my favourite glens, it's Glen Isla, and I'm gonna just go on this little countryside walk today. It's quite warm, and like normally this place is so busy, but today there's no one in the car park, and I thought it's such a perfect day for a walk, folks. So we're out here. I'm not even sure what we're gonna find. But it's been probably maybe four or five months since I've been up here. It's like the Loch Chandra Dam road that we're on just now. Look at the size of these thistles here. The flower of Scotland, folks, the good old thistle. It's just such an incredible landscape up here in these glens, like there's just so much nature and wildlife all around. I can hear the roar from the overflow on the small dam here. There's like a small lower dam and then the big dam further up the road. Here we are folks, we've made it to the stunning landscape of Loch Chandra Dam. So let's go and take a look at it. It's a cool bit of, well, a massive bit of cement. It's like the way they've built it with the massive chunks of cement is so impressive. It's always worth a walk coming up here. And then the landscape with the loch and the dam, it's just incredible. Look at this folks, there's like fishermen out on their boats and stuff today. Wow, what a place. Sometimes like, certain times of year if you come here, it's like, there's a lot of frogs and stuff. I can't even believe it's not even that windy here. Look at this. The guy's total moored here, fishing away, like just right at the edge. I don't know how deep it is right at the overflow there, like. I'm wanting to go and look at this. This is where the overflow drops off into the, probably, this is roughly where the original river ran down this glen before they made a dam. And this is just at the foot of Glen Isla, this. It's a cool place, like, the way they've built all this to direct the water. And then I think the reason they've made it drop so much here is because that also breaks, like, the fall of the water. It breaks the force of the water, I think, there. So cool, like. It's been a serious amount of work that's been put in at one time to build all this. Like, this whole bit of land here, it's all been, like, engineered. And I'm not sure how much they built up. When they made this, they must have dug it out pretty deep. I think there's a cement bit in there. It drops in and then it tapers back up another slope. So it's a pretty crazy bit. The way it bubbles up there where the water's dropping in, it's just crazy. Look at this here folks, there's a hole, double hole there, drilled in it. It looks like the water has been flowing over here, the way the moss and stuff is all like... It's all like washed in. It's a fair amount of work that they must have put in when they built a thing like this though, it is impressive. It's big stone slabs that line the bottom out along here. Look at this folks, we're going for it. 
real adventures on this channel here. We'll see if we can see any wildlife down here. There's often a lot of spiders under this bridge. And I have seen frogs here before as well. Oh, there's loads of midges flying around. Look at it here, folks. The water's running over there like this. It's quite an impressive structure, like. I think I'll slip if I go too near the edge. I normally get up there when it's dry, but I don't really want to slap. Look at where we are though, we're right at the edge of the overflow. It's one of my favourite spots just to come to. Look at the way it just drops off in there. plant here folks like the leaves on it like the toy is just always getting watered. It's just always getting watered by this dam. Oh. Look at this. This is an old railway sleeper bridge that we're underneath right now. Okay, the, the railway sleepers have been reused for this but you can still see where the rail lines at one time were attached on. Probably old steam engines that I had going out of them at one time. It's just an awesome little spot to come around on a warm summer's day or all year. We'll see what the fishermen are up to folks. It's quite an idyllic spot here just to come to and fish. He's got a little electric motor on his end. It's quite cool, there's a little boat house and stuff over there. It's just a magical landscape. And in this little corner here, it's incredible how much different stuff's growing. Those little blue things there, and then the purple lupins, the thistles and the ferns. It's all in one little corner. It's just growing naturally here in the wilds of Scotland. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're catching out here. I'm not sure if it's brown trout or what it is like, but there we go folks, cool little walk. So here's the sign here folks, look, Fruchy, three quarter of a mile, and then Fruchy, six mile. So I'm thinking that this must be a circuit around here, maybe a circle, quite a long one. And then Kirkton Glenisla, Kirkton of Glenisla, one and three quarter miles, Forter, four and a half. So you can walk all over these glens there and these paths. It's quite, it's quite cool, like, there's always so much to explore, but I just love the way, like, those wee dams and stuff's always constructed, like, in the middle of the wilderness, and it's cool that those fishermen can still enjoy it to this day, even though it was built way back. There is something new over here that I've never noticed before, it must have just been put in. There's some big black, like, metal bits sticking up now, over there. And I'm just wondering if they're maybe, like, measuring for the ground moving or something like that. Don't know if you can see them, there's two big black poles there, like. So who knows, folks, who even knows? 
Anyway, that's been a cool little walkabout. I'll end this little video here. Tune in again soon for the next adventure. I'm not sure where I'm going to go now, but we'll end this one here, folks. See you very soon.